I want to just spice things up a little bit. Part of me is already regretting this, but another part of me feels like I am strong enough to do this. <laughs> Mentally strong enough to do this. Today, we're gonna go 24 hours with my phone. But if you see here, I have three things here. I have my phone, I have my iPad, and I have my laptop. I'm gonna be going 24 hours without all of these three. And the reason why I say these three instead of just my phone is because they also have access to what my phone does too. People can call me on these, they can text me, I can go on social media if I wanted to, you know. So I'm not gonna do anything with them. I don't even think I'm gonna use my setup either because same difference, right? I didn't really have a plan for this, I'll be completely honest. I just thought of the idea of, okay, let's just do this. Let's see how it goes. Let's have fun with it. I don't think I'm gonna have fun with it. I already miss texting some people and <laughs> mindlessly scrolling on TikTok and Instagram and Twitter. Oh my god, I feel like I have an addiction. But you know, we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll like it. Maybe, maybe this is gonna be a new thing where I'm gonna be on my phone less, you know? Maybe I'm gonna like that. Right now, it is 9.06 a.m. I'm just gonna start, I, I said I was gonna start this at 9.30, but you know, we're gonna, we're gonna go for a little head start. Let's do this. The sooner I start this, the sooner I can get my phone. <laughs> I literally use all this for work. Part of me feels like I'm just gonna have a day off. You know, I use this for art, I use this for editing videos, and I use this on the daily, so like, what the fuck am I gonna do today? I'm gonna go ahead, put all my stuff in this little cute piano box, and I'm just gonna start my day. Does this even fit in here? I didn't even check. Oh my god, it's literally so perfect. Laptop, iPad, phone. Let's get this started. And to show you guys how serious I am, I even got tape. Actually, it's not even that serious. I could probably just rip it off if I wanted to. But, you know, I'm going to be very serious about this. I'll be honest, this tape isn't even strong, but, you know, I'm just going to not touch this. <laughs> it's not like I'm going to be, like, fighting for my life to grab this, you know? I'll put more tape because I can. And also, I have time. I'm really thinking, I don't know what to do with my day. Because all I do is like really work, like film videos, edit, or stream, or like do anything, you know, video, photo related, right? I genuinely don't know what to do. The package is in the box. At 9.06 tomorrow, I'll be able to have access to my stuff again. Let's do that. There you go. I think I'm gonna start with brushing my teeth and doing my skincare. I haven't done my skincare ever since LA, actually, ever since the NASCAR phase of it, right? So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do my skincare and we can go from there, see what I'm into doing. skincare. I know this looks so weird. Like why why is she putting sweatbands on? I learned it on TikTok because now whenever I do my skincare and wash my face, the water doesn't drip down from my wrists. And I know I look dumb, but like it does the job. Sweatbands can be used for stuff like stuff like this. Isn't that nuts? I love that. I 
we still going? Okay. I'm done with my long process of skincare. Okay, cool. We finished that. Right off the bat, like, you know, I could be, I usually when I eat breakfast, I'm scrolling through social media. I'm just feeding myself and I'm just getting the job done. One thing I did notice though, the fact that I don't have my phone on me, I'm getting my stuff done a lot faster. Like with my skincare, with like me brushing my teeth, flossing, um, mouthwash, right? Usually that would take me like to an hour because I'm also in between going through my phone, texting people or like, or going through Twitter, scrolling through Instagram and stuff, right? Now I'm here in the present, almost. And if, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. This is so weird. I think another thing is that I know I'm gonna get my phone back, so I'm not really panicking, but at the same time, I don't know what to do with my day. Oh, you know what, you know what? Okay, so I actually haven't caught up with reading. I have not been able to read all of February, and so I think I'll use today to finish my book, because I'll be honest, I don't know what else I can do today other than do chores. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my bed and continue my book. So uh, let's do that. Time is going by so much slower. And it's only 10.20. You know, by this time, it would be like two hours have passed. Only one hour has passed and today just feels so slow. I found myself wanting to check my phone through every process. Every time I do something, I somewhat reward myself by getting my phone and scrolling for a bit and then continuing what I was doing. Going upstairs, check my phone. Going into my room, setting up my camera. Oh, finish setting it up, check my phone before I start filming. Oh, I got my books, let me put them down. Okay, now that I put them down, let me check my phone. I think I have a fucking problem. Don't get me wrong, I am thinking about it a lot, right? But I'm not like wanting it like really badly. But it's just like, it pops up in my head. It makes me wonder how much time I actually put onto my phone now. Now it's getting kind of warm, so I'm gonna take off my jacket. <sighs> Besides all that though, I now have my books here. If you guys remember, this is the book that I'm currently reading. I love this book a lot. I didn't really get to talk about it much because when I was in LA, I kind of just showed it. Like, okay, still reading it, whatever, right? It's the type of book that picks out your habits and picks out like how your brain works and stuff. And I love the way it does that it does it in a way where it tells you what your mind thoughts are doing and then it gives you ways to handle those challenges the book that i just bought that i didn't realize was so fucking fat was the 48 laws of power you guys already know i'm the type of person that really likes self growth self help books and People were telling me this book is something re like really good to read. This book is 429 pages. If I do plan on reading this book uh, thoroughly, I'm gonna count this as two books, okay? I did say I was gonna read one book every month, but this one, this is a challenge. I'm gonna finish this book today. This isn't anything important, but it was just really funny. But I'm, I'm noticing that there would be like a word or two in here that I wouldn't know it mean, what it means or uh, or even how, like how to say it because I've never heard of it or seen it before. You know, usually I would get my phone and like, you know, Google it or hear Google pronounce it and stuff. And I'm just sitting here, I'm like, damn, well, I don't know what that means. And I, I mean, I get the sentence, but I that word is just like throwing me off. And I don't have my phone or a device to tell me what it is so now i'm just here reading up sentence in confusion um but yeah <laughs> i just i just wanted to share that that was just something about my phone anyways i'm gonna go back <laughs> guys 
I fell asleep. <laughs> Obviously, I was reading. I didn't get too far, but I ended up sleeping. I think I started around like 10, 20 ish, right? Um, I fell asleep, woke up at 12, started reading again, fell asleep, and woke up at 2. <laughs> My brother came home and gave me food. <laughs> So I went straight downstairs, ate the food, and I like, you know, I spent time with him and his girlfriend, and we're just like talking, and then now I'm here, and it's now 3.11. I was literally talking to my brother, I'm like, what, what do I do? I can't do anything. Like, it's so weird how much I rely on my phone for work and for my life. I think I might go out, damn, like I, I really don't know what to do. I think I might go to my favorite park and get boba. Boba run, park run. You know what, maybe I might read at the park too. Something else to do, right? So let's do that. All right. So right off the bat, I don't have anything to play music. For some reason, I thought I had a camera holder. I don't. I have this, but it has a ball. And it doesn't have, like, I don't have the attachment for it. So I will not be vlogging my drive, sadly. Usually, whenever I go out, my brother has my location, right? It's just for my safety, just in case. And this time around, I had to tell him, hey, just want to give you a heads up. I'm going to go to the boba shop. Then gonna go to the park. Right now it's four and I should be back around five to six. And it was so weird because I was thinking about it. I'm like, dude, nobody will know where I'm at. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the boba shop, get some boba, and then we'll see how that goes. more at peace almost Maybe, then again I'm at the park you know I'm walking my dogs have myself a cup of boba but you know it feels so different not having a phone on me and having to go with it almost I don't know but I like it though I do enjoy the idea of like being outside, right? But it's weird because usually when I have my phone on me, I would always capture what's around me. Right now I'm using my camera to capture like stuff around me or things that do catch my attention that I want to keep. But like it made me realize how reliant I am on my phone. Literally, I saw I saw people holding their phone walking around the park and it's like they're turned on and I'm like looking and then I, I'm like, oh my God. It makes me realize how much I rely on my phone too. I feel safe still. To a certain extent, as a person who's very cautious all the time, whenever I'm out by myself, I'm always cautious about who's around me, what's going on, and like if I'm safe in this area. Like In a sense, my phone is another Thing that someone protects me, right? The people I love know where I'm at. The fact that I'm outside by myself, it's so weird. Like, I feel safe, but at the same time, I don't. On the palm of my hand, I'm able to message my boyfriend right away, or I message my brother, or like my parents if I wanted to, you know? Or even my friends, but I can't do that. It's like a good and a bad thing. A sense of freedom and like my own space, 
but it's also no one knows where I'm at. At this point of this challenge, I just feel like nobody knows I exist. I'm just existing in my own life, in my own space, and I like it. But it's also like, what the fuck? I'm not used to this. I'm so used to like just posting on social media all the time, you know? But I'm gonna go ahead and continue enjoying my, my read. Since I fell asleep so much on this book, I really wanna read as much as I can. I had the puppies here to comfort me and to stay by my side. But um, I think in a few, and after a few more sections, I think I'll, I'll go back home. So, let's go home. Um, and unexpectedly, Charlie started having a seizure. If you guys don't know who Charlie is, Charlie is this dog right here. The moment I parked in the driveway, Charlie and Maki jumped out of the car at the same time. But I think Maki pushed him a certain way to the point where he landed, like, incorrectly. It was a really loud thud. I mean, loud enough for a small dog, right? So now I am I am taking care of my little bean until his seizure calms down. It's it's like a thing that has been going on for him for so long. I've taken him to the vet several times. I've taken him to the emergency room several times. But usually when he bumps his head pretty hard, right? Um, that's when the seizure happens again. So right now. can kind of see how he's shaking like yeah you always shake but like this is like a this is a different type of shake where he's currently having a minor seizure so yeah I noticed there was a little bit of blood right there and I checked and it was under his chin so I'm guessing the way he fell down was you know, under his chin. So don't get me wrong, I am pretty upset and kind of sad that he got hurt, but I am so grateful that he didn't land on his head because he always gets seizures. It's like minor ones every now and then. And I, you know, I've taken him to the vet and they always tell me we can't do anything about it. I think I'm just gonna use this time to just stay by his side. What time is it now? It is 6.45, 14 hours left of this challenge. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some medicine on him and then take care of the little bean. Let's go ahead and do that. So you can kinda see it right there. Oh, you can really see it right there, but right now I'm putting antibiotics on it. I might have to put ice on it because I can tell it's swollen. It feels good knowing that it wasn't anything major. Look at this little dude. Look at this little dude, ah. Oh, you know what, you're lucky, I love you. Because you are stinky. And I'm letting you sleep in my bed. But I'm going to wash my sheets later. Oh, the widow bean. Charlie. Oh, the widow bean. I don't know what to do with myself. You know, I've been reading. You know, it's great. But also, like, what else can I do other than reading? I can play the piano, but... I don't know any songs. And I would use my phone as a way to learn songs. <gasps> Ooh, tonight we're gonna go ahead and and set up my movie projector and see if I can get my Apple TV to work. You guys understand, I got my projector to work, and I got my Apple TV, and then I totally forgot that you can charge the remote. Let's set that up and then go and watch some Netflix. <laughs> I haven't used my Apple TV in so long. You guys don't understand. I honestly like miss this. I used to use this all the time before. Let's turn off the light. Um, 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, I got it to work. I'm gonna be watching anime. Um, there's this anime called Call Me Can't Communicate, and I'm gonna watch it. I used to have a manga for this. I'm gonna enjoy my night by myself. Kinda sucks that I can barely hear, but you know, I gotta work with what I got. <laughs> it is now 11.32 p.m. and I'm on episode nine of this anime and there's only 12 episodes. So I think I'm just gonna finish this anime. Surprisingly, it's been a while since I've, I've ever finished an anime in one sitting. If I'm still awake, I will do the trick and read this book and I like to think once I start reading this book I will just knock out. I think I want to do this more often but not to the extent of not talking to anyone for 24 hours you know it's more of like do whatever I feel like with my day use my phone every now and then but not to have it while I'm doing everything. I just check my phone just to check my phone and for no reason. I feel like this whole thing is like a lesson to me. <laughs> Because I'm realizing how much I actually use my phone. I'm hoping that after this challenge, I'm using my phone less when it's not necessary. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this anime, read, and I'm gonna knock out. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. It is 9.04. I got two minutes left before I can get my phone. I love, hated the fact that I didn't have my phone because I had this space where I didn't have to worry about anything. I noticed I was I was less stressed. If anything, I was just more bored than stressed this time around. I would definitely do this again without the extent of completely ignoring everyone that I love. I think the only thing I didn't like was the fact that I couldn't work. And I love working. That's the thing about me. I didn't... <laughs> I, it just felt like I was doing a me day type of thing, you know? I did my skincare, I went out to the, my favorite park, I watched anime, I ate snacks. Oh my god, it's 9.06. Oh, you guys can barely see it, but it's 9.06. I'm ready to have my phone back. I'm ready to get back to my normal work life. Hi. I did like the fact that I didn't have to be on my phone. I think the fact that my work is or surrounded online, it kind of sucks. <laughs> I'll be honest, it, it sucks, but it makes me happy knowing that I can get back to my life in a sense, um, just by getting away from it. <gasps> my baby, not you baby. Oh, you see my baby too. God, I do have a lot of notifications. Okay, see, I'm already, <laughs> I'm already getting stuck on it. I'm gonna finish this YouTube video. But I will say though, this was an interesting challenge to do. I think next time I kind of want to go a week. No, let's not, let's not say that. Let's not speak that into existence. Actually, I'm not gonna do that again for a while because I realized how much work I need to get done with these devices you know what I mean but for the most part we did it <laughs> we fucking did it and I'm ready to get back to my normal life again but other than that take care see you guys next time goodbye <laughs>